Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Today we are going to solve the problem B from bi biweekly contest 122. Find if array can be sorted. So first let's understand the problem. You are given a zero indexed array of positive integers. And in one operation you can swap any two adjacent elements if they have same number of set bits. So first set bit, what is a set bit? Suppose uh, we have five in uh, in which decimal I forgot binary in binary decimal 5 will be printed as 101 and 7 is represented as triple one in this number of set bits are 2 set bits is something which contain 1 so in this he is saying that if they have the same number of set bits and if they are 2 adjacent elements if these are number of set bits are different suppose if we take 4 and if we take 8 in this set bits are 1 so he's saying you can swap these two elements. You are allowed to do this in oper this operation any number of times. Return true if you can sort the array, else return false. He's saying that if by performing these operations, if we able to sort the array, then we need to return true, or else we need to return the false. Now let's understand the let's understand one example. Now if you are given this, now we have 8, 4, 2, 30 and 15. 8. It can be represented. Hmm. in binary way in binary presentation it is this and 8 4 2 30 and 15 is represented now if you see 8 as one set bit 8 4 and 2 this 3 as one set bit 30 and 15 as four sub bits in common now if you see uh, what we can do now I will think about sorting algorithms if you go for sorting algorithms we have bubble sort right we have bubble sort. Let's think from bubble sort point of view. What bubble sort does? If it will check, it will check the adjacent elements. If one element is smaller, then we will swap those elements. Now let's go. Let's say eight and four. Four is lesser than uh, four is lesser than eight, so we are swapping it. Four, eight, two, thirty, and fifteen. Now two will be compared with eight. These both set bits are same, so we can swap it. Right, thirty and fifteen. Right, this will be my first operation. Then my I will come here. Now initially my I was at sorry this position. My now my I has reached to this position and every J will be checked. Now every J will be checked. Now now four and two. I will compare. Four and two. Now which is minimum? Two is minimum. Two, four, eight, thirty, and fifteen. Now I will check four and eight. 4 and 8. No, which is minimum? 4 is minimum. So I will not do anything. 8 and 30. I can't compare because these both are set. And 30 and 15. We can, uh, this set bit, number of set bits in 30 and number of set bits in 15 are same. So you can swap this as well. 15 and 30. If you see here, 2, 4, 8, 15 and 30. This is my sorted array. So we will return true. We will return true. So if you see this example, uh, 3, 16, 8, 4, 2. Now if you have 3, 16, 8, 4 and 2. 2, 4, 8 can be swapped. 2, 4, 8 can be swapped because these are the set bits. So I will make it as 2, 4 and 8. 3 and 16, these are 2 set bits and 16 is 1 set bit. Yeah, 16 also can be swapped. It will be like 2, 4, 8 and 16. But you can't swap this 3, right? 3 has 2 set bits and 3 is not moved. 3 cannot be moved from this position. So it can't be swapped. So let's see the coding part. Uh, I think you have learned the bubble sort algorithm in your BTEC first year in the first sim. So we will apply the same because the time cons uh, uh, constants are very low. So we can go till n cube. We can go till n cube. Now let's see. Now here we are going <coughs> i is equals to 0, i less than n, i plus plus and j is equals to 0, j less than n minus 1, j plus plus. Now k is equals to v of j. First I will calculate the set bits. Uh, how you, how you can calculate the set bits k and k minus 1 that means suppose if you take 15 let's take 15 15 is represented in this way and let's take 16 not even 15 let's take 16 16 is represented <coughs> in this way uh, 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 this is 16 and my 15 will be this right if you and this operator we are getting 0 and my c will be 1 right so if you do and n and n minus 1 if you are doing n and n minus 1 one bit will be shifted now if you see here 101 one, this is my 5 
you are doing and with if n this is 5 and this is n minus 1 this is 4 if you are doing and it will be 1 double 0 and now this is my 4 if you are doing with and n minus 1 that is 3 if you are doing and operator it will be 0 so if you do this you can calculate the number of set bits directly so k is equals to v of j plus 5 v for this also we are checking if both c1 and c2 sorry c and c1 will both are equal and my j v of j and v of j plus 1 my this element my v of j is greater than this element i can swap this i have swapped this using bubble sort and then i am checking whether my array is sorted or not by checking v of i is less than v of i if it is less we are returning directly false or else we are returning the true so here my time complexity will be order of n square because we are using bubble sort and we are using this extra thing so it will be order of n square into log of 8 which is like constant because there are 8 bits so i think you have got it so if you understood it please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe it so i have created a whatsapp community so there we will discuss all the problems so if you are interested you can join that as well i will see you in the next video till then bye bye